Hi, I'm Anne from Game Like a Mother. Today I'm going to show you how to play the Dr. Seuss Mary Grinchmas game. It's ages five and up, two to six players, and it takes 20 to 30 minutes. Let me show you how to play. This is a cooperative game. Your group goal is to earn more stars than the Grinch by the end of the game. You earn stars by collecting gift tokens, which you use to purchase wish cards. When you are able to purchase a wish card, you're going to put it around the town square tile. And while you're doing that, also, the Grinch is earning some of these wish cards, and they are going in his collection as, too, as well. You keep on going until uh, the town square is surrounded by the wish cards you have collected, which will be eight. At that point, the game ends, you tally up how many stars you have versus the Grinch, and if you have more than the Grinch, you win the game. For game setup, I'm saying this is a four player game. You're going to shuffle the wish cards, put them out in the center of the board on the spot with a picture of it on there, flip out four cards. Then you put out the present tokens on the wreaths, A, B, and C. And you also put out present tokens on any of the houses not in use by the players playing the game. So, so everyone picks a color of a house where they're gonna collect their present tokens. And then the people not playing We'll get to have it there on the two houses nobody's claimed. You just put a present token out there to start. You put the Grinch on the Max the Dog spot to start the game. Make sure the town square is nearby. The youngest player gets to spin the spinner. And when they spin, the Grinch moves that many spaces. One, two, three, four, five. And depending on what space the Grinch lands on, a few different things happen. Uh, if the Grinch lands on an A, B, or C spot, they take that uh, present from the center. So he would take B and any that he, have, he has collected go up here um, next to where his collection pile will be. Uh, if he lands on a color spot, it corresponds to that house. And if there isn't any present in that house, then the Grinch doesn't get anything. Um, but if it's yours house and you have a few different presents on there, you get to choose which one of them that the Grinch then steals. Um, if the Grinch were to land on a present space, then you he gets to steal a random present from the bag, and that's what he would get. Um, and if the Grinch lands on the spot with the Grinch feet, then he doesn't get anything for his turn, which also happens if you spin it here if he starts out here, then he just moves to the next spot that is the Grinch feet. And it's really good for you because he doesn't get anything. At this point, you get to see if uh, the Grinch is able to earn any of these wishes. For the first turn, no, he only has one token. Um, but in future turns, he might get enough. Um, so um, you need to, you watch out for that. And if he's able to score one, then he gets to pick one, but he only can score one wish per round. Um, now you get to take a present. So you can choose one of the presents on the A, B, or C spots. There's no B, so you can do A or C. Um, but, and you also can choose to draw one at random from the bag if you want it. So we'll say it's Blue's turn and they just go ahead and take A. Now it is the time to refill everything at the end of the turn. So the Grinch will say the Grinch got what he rolled. So he went to B, took that, got the pink one over here. And now you just refill at random and it is the next player's turn. Now it's the next player's turn. We'll say it's orange. They spin and the Grinch moves. One, two, three, four, gets another present. And uh, I wanna talk about how you uh, score a wish now. So we'll go ahead and I'm gonna just, we'll say it's later in the game and uh, everyone has a few more items that they've collected. So I'm just giving them a bunch of things. And um, so you can see how it works. So they have a few, they have a few, the Grinch has uh, more. Okay, so. For scoring a wish, you and the Grinch, everybody can only score one per turn. Uh, and you don't refill it as you go. So if the Grinch was to earn one and take it into his stack, 
you don't get to refill it right then. You have to wait till the end of the round to refill everything. So it's just kind of too bad if one comes up that you would have gotten. Uh, that's part of the game. Uh, the Grinch gets to go first. And the rule is he can only score one. You get to choose which one he scores if he has options between two. So here, he only has one that he can get. It would be this. If they're like this, it's three presents of the same color. This is two presents of the same color. These are four different presents of different colors. And this is the exact same gift. So like these two would be able to score that. Uh, so the Grinch would trade in these three. They go back into the bag and he gets this card. And then this person, you don't have to get a gift on your turn. You can, you can wait if you want to get something bigger. Uh, but they have a choice between two. They have two of the same or they do of the same. And this also is two green. So he could, he could do either one. Uh, we'll say they traded these two for the same present. And uh, when you get yours as part of the team, you put it around the town square, put it away. And then at the end of the turn, you make sure it's all shuffled up and you refill. So that's the whole game. Just keep on going, taking turns, spinning, moving the Grinch uh, until one, two, three, four, five, until uh, you have surrounded the town square with wishes. Once there are eight wishes around the town square, tally up your stack versus the Grinch's stack. And if you have more stars, you are the winner. So that's how to play the Dr. Seuss Mary Grinchmas game. The target demographic for this game is a young family around Christmas. This is going to be game, a game you will love playing together. The rule complexity is easy, but it feels like there's a lot of different things going on. So it feels busy, although it's easy to understand and play. Uh, how competitive is this game? It is cooperative. It is not at all competitive. However, it still feels very exciting. And at the beginning of the game, especially if you're playing with a lot of people, the Grinch will be winning at the beginning of the game. Uh, and it's usually at the end that you come from, come from behind and that's when you seem to uh, get all the, the special gifts and you end up winning. Um, but so we've won every one of the games that we've played this so far, but they've all been close, which is perfect. Kids enjoy it, but it's still, it's not like you're just being given the win. Uh, the replay value is medium because it's a seasonal game. However, if that doesn't bother you and uh, your family loves playing this game together and you want to play it in July, you go for it. Then you can just play it as much as you like. But generally, I'd say this is the type of game that you'd get around around the holidays and just play a bunch then, which is wonderful and fine. And we do that all the time with a lot of our own games. Uh, similar games, if you like this one, there is a Grinch Grow Your Heart game, which is a little card game, which is uh, competitive, but uh, pretty, pretty mellow and fun. It's not really anything in your face mean. Uh, and it's a really good card game and it's a lot of fun. So you should check that out. And then also, if you want a game like this that you can play all year round, you should absolutely go out and get Outfoxed. It's a cooperative whodunit card game that's uh, a board game that's uh, fox themed and uh, it is very popular and very fun. But you should check out uh, the Merry Grinchmas game. It's been a hit in our house and I'm sure you will enjoy it too. Thanks and see you next time from Game Like a Mother.